Well, we're just two days away from the annual hike up to the Pikes Peak Summit and the fireworks shows by the local Ataban Club. But will the latest winter weather put a freeze on the event? Mm, KRDO News Channel 13 Scott Harrison is live at the toll gate to America's Mountain where he checked out the conditions earlier today. Scott. Well, much of that highway today and still tonight is snow packed and icy, especially in the shady areas. The plows are working all day up near the summit, but the crew as of late this afternoon tells us that the weather is not going to stop this annual event that's been going on for almost a century. A cold, snowy day on Pikes Peak, but a busy one with a steady stream of visitors Tuesday. This is generally how the highway looks. It's keeping vehicles from the summit, but it won't stop the half of the Adaman Club members hiking the highway on New Year's Eve. We've got a plan in place, guys in place, to make sure that Adaman makes it up there. Um, in fact, the road looks pretty good right now. We're supposed to have clear days, hopefully through the New Year's. Because of social distancing for the COVID-19 pandemic, the hike is different this year. No pre-hike breakfast, fewer hikers and two separate groups. Ten members start on Bar Trail at 5 a.m. Thursday, hoping to hike the entire route in one day instead of the usual two. At 8.30 a.m., nine members will drive from the entry gate to Glen Cove and then hike to the summit from there. On Tuesday afternoon, the Pikes Peak crew had managed to clear a little bit more of the path towards the summit going about a mile or two above Glen Cove and stopping right here. And the crew says this is going to be as far as tourists will be able to get through the weekend, but it should be just fine for the Adaman hikers. And there's a good reason why visitors can go no farther for now. In some places where I just came from up on the summit and down, um, there was three and a half, four foot drifts in the road. Um, but we'll plow it and give them a good place to walk. Remember, we'll get two fireworks shows this year, one at 9 p.m. on New Year's Eve to commemorate the 150th year of Colorado Springs and the usual show at midnight. And earlier this afternoon, the Adaman Club members tell us that they tried to get a head start on things by driving the trailer full of the fireworks up to the summit but because of the weather, the slick roads, and yes, this was yesterday, with whiteout conditions near the summit and the condition of the roads, they weren't able to do it. And they say they will try again tomorrow. Conditions should be much better for them then. We are live at Pikes Peak. Scott Harrison, KRDO News Channel 13.